Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at AFI Fest for the centerpiece screening of Rust and Bone. We're going to talk to a whole bunch of actresses and actors. So come on, let's go take a look. Hi. How are you? Great. So first night at AFI? Um, no, well, at this gala, yes, but insofar as the American Film Institute, uh, in effect, this, yes, this is my first time arriving. I'm actually, that's why I'm still on the carpet. I yeah. see. Are you I've been inside yet? That's, yeah, it's all outside. I think they should put the red carpet inside. It would make things start on time. You think so? But then what about us? Um, you'd have better seats. You'd be able to see the show and do your job. You'd have to be quiet, which would be hard. Can't interview people while they're watching a movie. Are you That's not right. <laughs> Stop it. Um, this movie, Rust and Bone, are you excited to see it? I am. I, you know, I, I, I'm one of those people who keeps as little knowledge about projects as possible until I go, because it's already bad enough being in the industry and knowing how everything is made, that that will always kick back. So, uh, like, I don't watch trailers unless it's, like, something like Iron Man 3 or something, and I, you can't avoid it. But, but for the most part, like, I will... I want a complete blank slate when I go in. And the nice thing about the AFI projects is that they're not, you know, down the barrel. They're not the obvious projects. So that you know, there are genuine emotional surprises in them. And you're kind of diverse. You have, like, the whole Disney thing going. And then I know that you do some stand-up tours as well. So, like, how do you balance being so diverse? Are you just that creative? Well, I, I tour with my band as well. And, of course... Uh, uh, you know, doing a decent amount of dramatic work. It's true. Um, I, I I don't know. I think the theory is you should be able... It's like having a conversation. You have a different conversation in front of your grandparents and your children than you would have with your relationship partner. So you're just as diverse. You just pick and choose the venue to which you have that conversation. And so there are different emotional outlets that are appropriate to different things. There are things you can sing in a totally genuine way that you cannot joke about. There are things you can joke about, but if you try to sing them, they will come across as ridiculous. What's your first love, though? Um, performing. Good answer. So, so each of these is just an outlet for a singular thing. It's funny because a lot of people think I am different things, but they are, uh, they're all a part of just conveying emotion and ideas. And with your band, are you writing your own music? Yeah. Where can we see you if we're in L.A.? Um, I'm, we're at the Viper Room December 15th. Um, we're probably going to be starting a residency in Vegas soon, so we'll be playing you know, uh, a weekend night because I can get there. My girlfriend lives there, so I can get to Vegas on a Friday night and perform, and then, yeah. Okay, and if our viewers wanted to find you online, where would we find you? Oh, at Hal Sparks on, on Twitter and, of course, uh, my own webpage. I'm, I'm, I think, like a lot of people, I'm like up to here with Facebook. Mm -hmm. So between Instagram, Twitter, and my own website, like, I don't need any help in that communication area so and it's a lot more direct i find that twitter is actually a better engagement with fans and people well enjoy your night thanks for stopping by absolutely enjoy